Hello mathematicians. Today we're going to be combining like terms and solving equations with variables on both sides. So here I have an equation negative 9 plus 2x is equal to 7 plus x minus 8. So first things first before we start solving we're going to see both sides of the equation and see if we could combine any like terms. So on the left side of the equation I have negative 9 plus 2x so these are not like terms, so I can't combine them. But here on the right side, I have 7 plus x minus 8. So I do have two like terms here. So my like terms are positive 7 and negative 8. And so before I begin, I'm going to combine these. So now I end up with negative 9 plus 2x is equal to, so 7 minus 8 is negative 1 plus x. Okay, so after I combine like terms, it makes it a little bit easier to solve. So I'm going to show you guys two methods how to solve this equation. And the first method, we're going to move all of our variables to the left side and constants to the right side. And in our second method, we're going to move all of our variables to the right side and all of our constants to the left side. So here I have negative 9 plus 2x is equal to negative 1 plus x. And if I want to move all of our variables to the left side, the first thing I'm going to do is subtract both sides of the equation by x. And remember that subtracting by x is the same thing as subtracting by 1x, okay? So these two cancel out because they're opposites. And now on the left side, I'm left with negative 9 and positive 2x and negative 1x. Since the signs are different, we end up subtracting. So just x or 1x, and we keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which in this case is 2, so it's negative 9 plus x is equal to negative 1. And now I'm going to move all of my constants to the right side. So I have negative 9, so in order to get rid of it, I'm going to add both sides by 9. And... By doing this, I'm using the inverse operation, so because these are opposites, they cancel out. On the left side, I'm left with positive x is equal to, and now I have negative 1 plus 9, and since my signs are not the same, I'm going to subtract, and that gives me 8, and I'm going to keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which is 9, so my answer is x is equal to positive 8. And now we're going to do the same thing over here, except this time we're moving our variables to the right side and our constants to the left side. So negative 9 plus 2x is equal to negative 1 plus x. And if I want to move my variables to the right side, I'm going to have to subtract both sides by 2x. And here I'm left with negative 9. These cancel out because they're opposites. So negative 9 is equal to negative 1. And here I have x, positive x and negative 2. And just be mindful that this is 1x. So because my signs are different, I subtract. I end up with 1x or just x. And I keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which is negative 2. So I end up with negative 1 minus x. And I have to move all my constants to the left side. And in order to do that, I'm going to use inverse operations. So I'm going to add both sides by 1. And since negative 9 and positive 1 are opposite signs, again, I subtract. And I keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which in this case is negative 9. So I end up with negative 8 is equal to negative x. And now in order to get x by itself, I have to divide both sides by negative 1 because negative x is the same thing as negative 1x. 
So positive 8 is equal to x. We end up with the same answer using whichever method because we're still making sure that your equations are balanced. So it doesn't matter which one you use. As long as we keep our equations balanced, you'll get the same answer. So here I have another example. x plus 5 plus 6 is equal to 2 minus 8x. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the left side for like terms. And I have x plus 5 plus 6. Here I have like terms. My positive 5 and my positive 6. So I end up with x plus 11 is equal to, so on my right side I have 2 minus 8x, those are not like terms so I'm just going to rewrite it. And again we're going to solve using two different methods. The first one is where we move our variables to the left, constants to the right, and the second method is when we move our variables to the right side and our constants to the left side. So. So here we have our equation, and if I want to get my variables to the left side, I'm going to have to do inverse operations. And here I have minus 8x, so I'm going to add 8x to both sides. So x is the same thing as 1x, so 1x plus 8x is 9x. So I have 9x plus 11 is equal to 2 because these cancel out since they're opposites and now I'm going to move all of my constants to the right side so I have to subtract both sides by 11. These are opposites so they cancel out so I end up with 9x is equal to so here I have positive 2 and negative 11 so since my signs are opposites we subtract so 11 minus 2. And now um, we keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which in this case is negative, so we end up with negative 9. And so we have 9x is equal to negative 9. In order to get x by itself, we have to divide both sides by 9. So x is equal to negative 9 divided by 9, which is just negative 1. And so we're going to rewrite our equation here, and we're going to solve it using the second method. Okay, so here we want all of our variables on the right side. So I'm simply going to subtract by x on both sides. So that cancels out because they're opposites. I'm left with 11 is equal to 2. And now I have negative, a, negative 8x and negative x. And because they're both negatives, the sign is the same. So we add. We end up with 9x. And we keep the negative sign. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to this time move our constants to the left side. So using inverse operations, we're going to subtract both sides by 2 to make sure our equation stays balanced. 11 minus 2 is 9 is equal to, these cancel out because they're opposites, and 9 is equal to negative 9x. So if I want the x by itself, I'm going to have to divide both sides by negative 9. 9 divided by negative 9 is negative 1 is equal to x, and so I end up with the same answer. Alrighty, so here I have a different example, and first we're going to check for like terms. On the left side I have 1 minus 5x, so those are not like terms. On the right side I have 7 minus 7x plus 4x, so here I do have like terms, 
So my like terms are negative 7x and positive 4x. So if I rewrite this, I have 1 minus 5x is equal to 7, and now negative 7 plus 4x. So because the signs are opposite, we subtract. We end up with 3x, and we keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which in this case is negative 7x, so negative 3x. So now we're going to rewrite our equation and solve. So 1 minus 5x is equal to 7 minus 3x. And here, uh, using this method, we want all of our variables on the left side and all of our constants on the right side. So I'm going to use inverse operations. So I'm going to add 3x on both sides to keep our equation balanced. So these cancel out because they're opposites. And I'm left with 1. And so here I have negative 5x plus 3x. So since my signs are opposite, I'm going to sub subtract and end up with 2x. And I'm going to keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which is negative 5. So 1 minus 2x is equal to 7. And now I want to move all of my constants to the right side. So here I have 1 minus 2x is equal to 7. I'm going to subtract both sides by 1. And so positive 1 and negative 1 cancel each other out. So here I'm left with negative 2x is equal to 7 minus 1. And 7 minus 1 is 6. So negative 2x is equal to 6. So in order to get x by itself, I have to divide both sides by negative 2. So I end up with x is equal to 6 divided by negative 2. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. And 6 divided by 2 is 3. So x is equal to negative 3. So we're going to solve again. And this time we're going to move all of our variables to the right side and all of our constants to the left side. So I'm going to add 5x on both sides. This cancels out because they're opposites. I end up with 1 is equal to 7. And now negative 3x and 5x, because the signs are opposite, I'm going to subtract. So I get 2x when I subtract. And I keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which in this case, it's positive 5x, so plus 2x. And now here, I want to move all my constants to the left side. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 7. So 1 minus 7, since my signs are opposite, I subtract, I end up with 6, and I keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, which is negative, so negative 6. These cancel out because they're opposites, so negative 6 is equal to 2x. And now in order to get x by itself, I'm going to have to divide both sides by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3 is equal to x. So x is equal to negative 3. Okay, so here I have one more example. I have negative 3x plus 2x is equal to 14 plus 2 plus 2x minus 7. So here I have negative 3x and positive 2x, and these are both like terms that I can combine. So because one is negative and one is positive, I subtract, I end up with x, and I keep the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value, so negative x is equal to, now I'm going to look on the right side and see if I have any like terms. I have 14, positive 14, positive 2, and negative 7. So 14 plus 2 is 16. 
minus 7 is 9, so positive 9. And then I'm just going to bring down the positive 2x. Okay? So, here I have negative x is equal to 9 plus 2x. So if I move all of my variables to the left side, I'm going to subtract 2x, subtract 2x. Be mindful that this is negative 1, so negative 1x and negative 2x is negative 3x. I add them and keep the negative sign, is equal to 9, because these cancel out. So negative 3x is equal to 9. I don't have to move any constants to the right side because there are none. And so if I want to get x by itself, all I have to do is divide both sides by negative 3. That cancels out. And x is equal to 9 divided by negative 3, which is just negative 3. And that's it. So we're going to do the same thing. Negative x is equal to 9 plus 2x. And if I want to move my variables to the right side, I'm going to have to add x on both sides. So here I have 0 is equal to 9. And then I have 2x plus x, which is 3x. And now I'm going to subtract both sides by 9 to get my constants on the left side. So I end up with negative 9 is equal to, these cancel out because they're opposites, so negative 9 is equal to 3x, and if I want x by itself, I have to divide both sides by 3. Negative 9 divided by 3 is negative 3 is equal to x, and so I got x is equal to negative 3 using whichever method, and that's it.